I'm back with another one of those sit down videos. So here comes the clap. Hey there everyone, I'm here in Japan and if you've seen any of my recent travel vlogs you will know that I'm in Japan. Although by the time you're watching this I may actually be in a different country so make sure you follow me on Twitter and you'll be able to stay up to date with where I am. So in the past I've made some videos about recent purchases and you guys seem to have loved them a lot. Obviously I'm in a different room here. This is a Nihon Ma which is a traditional Japanese room and I thought I'd run you through some of my Japanese purchases from this incredible tech country. But before I run through all of my recent purchases, I just thought I'd say hey to all of you lovely new subscribers. I recently passed 10,000 and that has blown me away because I've only been doing this channel for about a year really. So thanks for all of your support over this time and for sticking around watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's go to all these purchases. So the first item I've got is actually a backpack. Now this is the Incase EO Travel Backpack and I had an Incase bag maybe eight or nine years ago and I still use it today because it's super strong and is one of the best bags I've ever bought. So when I discovered Incase have made this bag, I was pretty excited by it. When I saw it in Japan, I was even more excited by it because I could actually buy it. Unfortunately, it's not really available in Europe. Uh, it's definitely not in the UK. If you're in America, you're quite lucky because you can get it and maybe Australia, I'm not sure about that. So. Yeah, when I discovered this bag and saw it in person, I kind of fell in love with it. I mean, first of all, I love the design of Incase bags. They're super smart, they're very functional, they're very well thought out, and it holds a massive amount of stuff. So in my previous Incase bag, one of the biggest gripes I always had with it is that it holds all of my technology gear, but it never really had any room for other stuff. So day things, if I want to fit a lunchbox in, no chance, not really gonna work. This one, however, fits all of my tech stuff, but can also expand to be a bigger piece of carry-on luggage. So this is gonna be perfect for when I'm going to uh, any sort of business trips, or if I'm freelancing at companies, and I need to take a lot of stuff, or just any sort of times where I, I just need to take extra gear. So the build quality of this is typical of Incase, really. It's very well made, it's extremely comfortable, and it just feels so functional. It's, it's just great. I love this bag so much. So obviously this bag can hold a laptop up to, I think it's a 17 inch uh, MacBook Pro or similar model, as well as a tablet. You could probably fit an iPad Pro in here as well. Now this is geared towards the traveler and it's in the travel range from Incase. Now one feature that I really like about the way that the laptop fits in is it makes it very fast to get through airport security. So you unzip and your laptop section literally opens completely flat. So when you go through the security and they ask you to take out your laptop and electronic devices, Unzip it, put it on the bed, and there it is, nice and flat. Now the main section within the bag is actually pretty big and there's a lot of pouches in there. You could put in chargers, external hard drives, any other stuff. Or if you want to use it as a regular backpack, you can just lob a load of stuff in there nice and easily. So with this being geared towards the travel user, you can also expand this to hold up to, they say two days worth of clothes, but I've actually managed to fit in five days worth of clothes. The trick is you need to roll your clothes rather than fold it. So that kind of makes this almost like a mini suitcase and perfect for carry-on luggage if you want to carry some extra tech gear as well. I mean, this bag's got so many uses, it's just, it's kind of ticking all the boxes really. Um, I guess that's why I fell in love with it. So along with the travel bag, I knew that I was going to need to sometimes carry a camera, but only a lighter set of gear rather than my full camera bag. So I got this little box insert from Hakuba and I just picked this up at Yodabashi Camera Store in Shinjuku. Uh, that's probably the best camera store I've been to in Japan. It's such a great store. They've got like, I think six different buildings, each with about eight different floors. Honestly, this place is massive for tech gear. So this is a little camera box and very simply, it's just got a couple of inserts in here and you can just throw in a small camera so I can fit my Sony a7R in there. And quite conveniently, this fits perfectly into the in-case bag. It's so surprising how well it actually just fits in. It's, it's literally, it's like it's made for it. So it just sits in here, bit of a squeeze. So along with the camera box insert for the bag, I also got this lens cover from Etsumi. Uh, I also picked this up at Yodabashi Camera Store. And this is big enough for my 70 to 200 lens, um, but I'll probably mostly use it for my 24 to 70. And this would be for times when I'm taking this backpack, one small camera, and then maybe an additional lens. I just want to keep protected. So I don't want to take a full camera bag, just a very light piece of gear. And that will fit in nicely. I picked up a fair amount of pouches whilst I've been in Japan. 
and some of these are kind of square and boxy, others are kind of tapered, and others are just little cases that I think are for pencils, but I'm going to use them for cables. Now these little pouches are great for just carrying external hard drives, cables, chargers, uh, I use it as like a little caddy between upstairs and downstairs when I come to import my footage from the day. And I just carry all of my hard drives and memory cards in there. Very handy. Nice and good quality. Typical of Japan, really. Those pouches are also super cheap as well as being high quality. Um, couldn't rate them any higher. Now with Japan being pretty much the tech capital of the world, I've of course picked up a few cables and electronic goods here. So first up, this is a Belkin 5-way audio splitter. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to have four other people with me to listen to the same audio, but it is very handy if, for example, you wanted to split out to maybe two extra people when you're traveling. It's just handy for listening to music and the quality is really good. I know you can pick this up everywhere in the world, so it's not necessarily unique to Japan. When you're traveling around, I find that you always need iPhone cables. I've actually got quite a few of these and I've started to buy third party ones rather than the Apple ones because I've realized the quality is so much better. Now this little guy I picked up in Loft in Ikebukuro. Now this is just an iPhone lightning cable and you'll see it's made with quite a rugged sort of uh, almost like a shoelace type rope thing and then it's got wooden connectors. I thought it was pretty classy looking and it definitely feels solid. I don't think anything's going to chew through that. It's not going to break away and it's going to last a nice time. Also comes with this handy little pouch which is great for throwing into yet another pouch. If you've seen my previous recent purchases video, you'll know I'm a big fan of Native Union. Now whilst in Japan, I picked up the extra long night cable. Now this is a lightning cable for your iPhone or iPad, but it's conveniently got this weighted ball that you can move around the cable. So this allows you to just leave it on your bed without the cable kind of falling off or going anywhere. And this thing is long. I mean, look how long this is. So you could charge from one end of the room, leave this on your bed, leave your phone on, it's not going to go anywhere when it's unplugged. Very handy, and also it's a lot cheaper in Japan, which is why we got it. So this one will primarily just be used in the bedroom, uh, just on the bed for charging at night. My other cables will just sit in my various other bags, so that I've always got a cable with me at somewhere. And of course, there's so many iOS devices in the house these days anyway, so you can't have too many cables. Now with all this traveling that I've been doing, I've been getting a seriously large amount of footage and photos. So much so that I've actually started filling up the hard drives that I came with. So in a bit of an emergency, I had to buy a new hard drive. So I got the Western Digital, I think this is the basic, uh, Western Digital Elements 2 terabyte drive. Uh, this is fairly small and pretty portable. It's just a simple USB 3 drive and I'll be using this to back up all of my external footage from my other devices. Now one of the first things you need when you arrive in a foreign country is some sort of data connection for your phone. Now I bought a SIM card from B-Mobile and that's the visitor SIM for Japan, but instead of just putting it into my phone, I actually put it into a portable Wi-Fi. Now this is the mobile Wi-Fi from Huawei and I just picked this up on amazon.co.jp, got it delivered literally within, I think, 20 hours. That was the pretty fast delivery, I might add. And uh, you just pop your SIM card in here and it just gives you a portable Wi-Fi to all of your devices. Um, it's kind of standard really. The only thing that's a bit of a downside with this is the battery life is it's not that great really. So I actually find that I have to charge this before I need to charge my phone uh, when we're out and about. But this is a bit of a lifesaver because it means you can keep your phone number from your UK phone whilst you're getting data from your new SIM card in a foreign country. Now you don't specifically need to go for the Huawei model, there's loads of them about. Uh, just do a search for Pocket Wi-Fi and you'll find hundreds. Uh, they're pretty popular in Japan, you'll find them in most electronic stores on one of the first tables as you walk in. Uh, that's definitely very convenient. Now the second most important item on my shopping list for when I came to Japan was this Zeiss lens for my Sony a7R2. Now this is the 35mm f2.8. As you can see, it's extremely small. It's got rather a unique little lens hood design. Now as you can see, this is a very small lens and it is extremely sharp, um, very portable, and of course it's a native lens for my Sony, so I don't need to use a converter for my Canon lenses, which means I get great autofocus um, and face tracking when I'm doing video. The autofocus on the Canon lenses with my Sony is still pretty good, but it just doesn't work very well with video. So I'll be using this for my next videos like this. Now this lens was also picked up at Yodabashi Camera, 
And one thing I haven't mentioned yet is that if you're a foreign visitor to Japan, you'll get the VAT back um, as a tax refund. So that's about 8% of your, I think it's a sales tax actually. Now they also sometimes give you a further 5% discount for using a particular type of card. Now I bought this with Visa, so they gave me the 5% on top of the 8%, on top of the fact that it was also cheaper in Japan. This thing was a bargain. Now the final few items I've got here, these are some S binders from Night Eyes. They're just a little bit like a carabiner, but they are S shaped and this can actually hold up to, I think it's 33 kilograms. That's enough to hold a suitcase. Uh, it's pretty slim and these are just gonna clip onto my bags for any times when I need to clip further accessories or other bags to my bags. And I just got these in two sizes, got a small one and a large one. Another item purchased from Yodabashi Camera, these are some low pro gloves and they are designed for photographers and they've got some very high quality, almost neoprene type uh, outer casings and some very convenient little flaps so that your forefinger and thumb can poke out and you can use all the dials and touchscreen on your camera and then you can fold it away so that you can keep on staying warm. It's got these little magnetic clips just to hold them in place. Very handy. <laughs> handy. Now I always get really cold hands in winter and even spring at times as well. So this is gonna be very useful when I need to go out shooting uh, in outside conditions for prolonged times. So as you're probably aware by now, Japan technology is so much cheaper here than most other places in the world. And whenever I'm in Japan, I always try and make sure I pick up some Instax film for my Instax. So this is just a pack of 10 uh, for my Fuji Instax camera. It's actually about half the price here compared to anywhere else. So I always make sure I get these in bulk. Picked up a few. Now the final item that I've got to show you, I technically didn't buy, and these were a gift from Ellie's grandpa, and they are some Zeiss lens cleaners. He had a load of them, and he gave them all to me. Look at all these! So these are gonna be great for cleaning lenses, uh, viewfinders, maybe even iPhones, although they might be a little bit too wet maybe, I'm not sure about that. Uh, and they're made by Zeiss, which means that they're gonna work very well. All right, so that's everything from my recent purchases from Japan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the description. I have links to all of these products where available. Uh, some of them may not be available in the UK. I'm sorry about that, but you may be able to get them in other places around the world that ship internationally. So you have to try your best on that, unfortunately. Otherwise, make your way to Japan. Okay, so that's everything from my recent purchases in Japan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment giving your thoughts on any of the items. I love reading what you guys have to say. Remember to go and check out my social profiles to stay up to date of where I'm traveling. And I hope to see you again soon. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe for more. You know it all. Thanks for watching. See you later.